Welcome back to the channel, guys. It's Maz back again with another video for you guys. Today, I wanted to change it up a little bit. I appreciate y'all hanging in there with me on the TRX4 XJ build, but I wanted to give y'all something a little different to look at. So on the bench today, we have some old school Nitro T-Max action. And I come to realize I'm getting older and some of you guys may not even know that they had a Nitro T-Max. Uh, this was well before the electric versions ever came out. Mine was an original $50 deal that I bought from a buddy. Uh, it didn't end up staying a $50 deal. I bought the original T-Max from him. So it was the narrow wheelbase. If you know about T-Maxes, kind of like the X-Max, I believe. Started as a narrow, uh, a narrow suspension, and then they did a wide track version. Well, mine started as the narrow original. Um, that's about where it stops. The only stock parts on this truck is a front skid, the suspension bulkheads, and that's it. Everything else is aftermarket. Uh, fuel tank, uh, sorry, there, there's number four and probably some of the little plastic bits for the transmission housing and stuff like that. It's not really anything stock on this truck. If you have a T-Max that's stock, you'll know this doesn't look anything like it. Um, first off, we went to a big block dynamite chassis, turns it into more of an eight scale. Uh, the T-Max starts life as a 10 scale. This is more of an eight scale truck now. The body is an old school Proline F-250. That was the body that I found that fit it best. You know, I'm not a Ford fan, but I think this fluorescent orange Ford body looks pretty good on it. The wheels and tires, I believe, are HPI aftermarket wheels and tires at the time. I cannot remember. So if you know what wheels and tires these are, they were very popular back in the day. They were like crazy. They were the biggest wheels and tires you could get. They're almost seven inches tall. If you can see my hand in front of it, it comes up basically to the wheel nut. So to give you an idea of that, I believe a SCX-6 has a seven inch tall tire or so. Just to give you an idea of the tire size, this is a stock TRX-4 tire. And that guy right there is 4.75 inches and it pretty much is the exact diameter of the rim. So that's crazy that that's how big of a difference those wheels and tires are. I think you can get the gist by looking at that, how insanely big this truck is. But we'll get the body off. This was the first body that I ever painted and came out good. It's in a fluorescent orange color. Fluorescent orange will die back over time because it isn't light fast. It does not like sunlight. So as you can see, it's kind of yellowed on the top a little bit, but it's not anything crazy. It still looks really good and like I said, that was the first Lexan body that I ever painted very nice. And I probably went through three bodies before I got that one painted good. Um, that's what sucks about being a perfectionist. It'll cost you money in the long run. So like I said, HPI, I believe, wheels and tires, dynamite chassis, Intigi piggyback shocks, Intigi adjustable shock towers, um, the motor is something y'all, the brand y'all will be familiar with but you may not even know they ever made that. Axial made, they called it a 0.32 motor, but it's basically a big block, their big block motor back in the day. It sounds absolutely crazy when this thing fires up. I've never heard another big block and I've had a couple of them. I've never heard another big block sound like this and it may be due to the pipe size. It's kind of a hodgepodge because the pipe comes with the chassis and the header comes with the chassis. The motor comes by itself but that thing, that pipe just sounds out of this world when this thing fires up. Um, has an old school wheelie bar on it that is pretty much useless. It does not like this wheelie bar. It pretty much just wants to flip backwards anyway. And this is just an old school style wheelie bar. I would like to get this truck back up and running. So I would like to replace this. I would like to replace the front skid as you can see it's all beat up. That's the, that's an original part from when he bashed this truck to death. Um, has RPM bumpers, front and rear chrome bumpers, RPM suspension arms, uppers and lowers. Um, they are the wide track version. If you know anything about old school T-Maxes or anything back then, 
uh, RPM was that jam. Uh, you know, anything you could buy RPM was a good deal. But also has stuff from companies such as Robinson Racing that y'all are probably still familiar with. The spur is a hardened steel spur. All the internal gears in the transmission are hardened steel Robinson gears. Um, it also deletes the reverse. These came with reverse. I deleted it. Um, it's nice actually having reverse on these trucks, but when you're putting the amount of power through this gearbox with this motor, those plastic gears will not survive. Um, I don't care what you say. I don't care who you are. With that amount of torque out of that big block, it will destroy plastic spur gears and plastic, uh, you know, the plastic spurs and the internal gears that were plastic. So, like I said, this is all top of the line. This is early 2000s, probably 03s when I got this. Um, the, the adjustable suspension uh, shock towers were very nice. I can actually lower this truck down a lot more, but just the suspension travel, look at how much travel that thing has. Um, for you guys trying to flex them 24s out, man, I didn't call you and raise you one. This mug right here, if you can even get it to flex all the way, I mean, it almost flexed seven inches up in the air, probably eight inches in the air. So I call you and raise you one on a T Mac, a Nitro T Max. This thing is not about flex though. Even though if we didn't have that wheelie bar, man, we could Carolina squat the daggum tarnation out of this thing but it stops at about right there. Uh, I do wanna get this truck back together. Tell me down below if y'all think it would be a good idea, if it's something that y'all would like to see run on the channel. I'll go through if so and try to find if parts are even available for this thing. I'm missing the receiver box. Um, I need to try to find a couple parts for it. Need to find a rear skid, a front skid. Hopefully they still make that stuff. Also tell me down below if they make, if you know where I can buy that stuff from. Maybe Traxxas still makes some of it. I'm not sure. But I just want to keep this short and sweet. I wanted to give you all something different to look at. Like I said, I know it's been an ongoing thing with the TRX4. So I figured something different would, you know, be nice for a change. We will throw the TRX4 beside it. And you can get an idea of the difference. So... 4.19s, almost seven inches. Man, that's absolutely crazy how massive that is. These both started out as tent scale trucks. This truck right here was a tent scale to begin with. That tells you how absolutely crazy big this truck is. But like I said, I don't want to make this video too long. I appreciate y'all tuning in as always. And like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me a joke down below. And until next time, guys, y'all have a good one.